Well, I think that uh, many of the problems we have to solve needs good conversation mm. and uh, inspiring statement. I think what uh, uh, was uh, discussed in the first day of Davos is really about inclusiveness, workforce of the future, which is a big topic for all countries. And uh, of course, uh, if you look at the European side, more consistency on taxes is very important because we can discuss about consistency of taxes between the US and Europe, but I think we have to fix our problems first. Well, now, can I uh, take you off in a slightly different direction? Yep. We had numbers out from Software RG this morning. Uh, record fourth quarter margins. They expect their Internet of Things business to double through 2018. Have we finally got to the point here where these technologies are now getting into their stride? Well, there is <clears throat> the fact that there is a new language, IoT and other acronyms like this, is making visible something that has been starting for years now. When you look at uh, intelligent plants, for example, a lot of machines were already talking to each other, and machine to machine, robots and so on. It's becoming more visible, so it's going to become more pervasive. But that started many years ago. If you look at how Airbus or Boeing assemble their airplanes today, there are a lot of intelligent equipment to make it happen. Yes, it's accelerating, but I think it's a more profound thing which is happening. In short, I think we are going beyond digitalization of industry, of the new industry. I think it's an industry renaissance, truly. Uh, and let me one second tell you why. If you look at the Tesla, if you look at uh, Joby Aviation, electrical vertical takeoff airplanes. Mm -hmm. Those are new categories of mobility equipment. It's not electrification of a car. It's a new category of solution, completely new. And it needs to have new type of engineering, new type of thinking process, new type of services. I believe this century will be a century where there will be a fusion between so many domains to provide new type of services to clients. We're already seeing a lot of that technology uh, being um, innovated out of China. Um, I just wonder, with the background now of President Trump imposing tariffs and talking more about penalties on China, Wilbur Ross also expressing some concerns about China's uh, 2025 program, um, do you worry that we're actually going to be held back by trade wars? Well, we have to take China very seriously. We are in China, we see what is happening in most of the companies. The agenda now is not productivity, it's innovation. Look at the Huawei of the world and many other companies. They are gaining on the world market, not only for cost, but for innovation. And uh, I believe that uh, there are a lot of implications on that. Uh, one of them, in my view, is of course there will be an effect on how to defend or position uh, each of the industries in different countries. But I think it's going to redefine the cooperation between countries. The one belt, one road for Europe is an opportunity to establish a new type of digital pipeline to cooperate between small, mid-sized companies in Europe with Chinese players. And that, if you look at it from a market size, how to reach this market size, I think it can be translated to good news. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.